Another year, another CES, and uh, this time we're back here at UbiTech's booth, and you can see here's my robotic buddy Walker, who's apparently received some upgrades. Hi, I am Walker, your personal assistant. I'm happy to be back here at CES. So it may not be obvious that Walker's a little different this time because, well, to be honest, the hardware is still the same as before. He's still powered by 36 servos. But when Walker starts moving about, you notice that he's able to walk a little faster than before and with a more natural motion. This is all thanks to some upgraded software, especially on the AI side. You a tough guy, huh? Are you a tough guy? Come on, come on. He has a much better sense of gravity. Um, no matter how hard I try to top him over, he has a very good resistance here. Well, it feels, yeah, very, he's very steady. Very steady and bear in mind that He's a quite a heavy machine. It must be putting a lot of work on this. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, like very impressive, dude. You've been working out, man. Thanks to this, he's able to carry a much heavier load this time. So uh, you can imagine him helping you out with uh, groceries or uh, taking the garbage out or maybe one day he'll be able to carry uh, little kids around if they need help. Enjoy your food. Oh, thank you. Another major upgrade on the Walker this year is visual servoing. What this is, is uh, it's able to help Walker locate these small objects in a more dynamic manner. So say for instance, he was giving me this basket of food just now, but uh, had I shifted the basket a little bit before he picked it up, he would have been able to adjust his movement to make sure that he was actually grabbing hold onto the basket. So it was less of a pre-programmed procedure, so to speak. Likewise, he also poured me a glass of Coke with very good precision. And just to be safe, Walker was able to grip onto the glass until he was sure that I was pulling the glass off him with force. Cheers. Thank you. And also, thanks to his sense of gravity, he's able to pull off some really impressive yoga poses, and some of which I couldn't even do it myself. So, uh, he's my new sensei. Last but not least, Walker was able to show off some of his handwriting skills, and that's actually quite impressive because uh, for a robot to know how to precisely hold a pen and know how much force to apply without making too much of a splodge here, it takes a bit of work. Now, unfortunately, it seems like we're still some way away from being able to bring a walker back home. According to UbiTech, there's still no price nor date just yet, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some new tricks coming from walker, maybe sometime again next year. For more CS coverage this year, please subscribe to Engadget.